name is Mike Kooten, pain medicine specialist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I'll be discussing briefly uh, an article uh, that will be appearing in an upcoming issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled, Chronic Pain and Mental Health Disorders, Shared Neural Mechanisms, Epidemiology and Treatment. This particular article is comprised of three discrete sections. The first section uh, deals with the neural mechanisms or the shared neural circuits that exist between chronic pain and mental health disorders. This is important because many areas of the brain that are responsible for processing incoming pain signals are also responsible for processing input from uh, mental health problems including depression and anxiety for example. Uh, we exemplify these interrelated brain areas uh, in figure one of the manuscript. The second uh, component of the manuscript uh, deals with the actual epidemiology of mental health problems as they occur in various uh, common chronic pain problems like low back pain for example or fibromyalgia. The prevalence may extend up to 50 and sometimes 60 percent of individuals with chronic pain. Uh, we limit the discussion to very commonly occurring mental health problems including for example depression, anxiety, and substance use problems. Uh, we detail the prevalence of these various uh, mental health problems uh, in Table 2. The final part of the manuscript deals with treatment, both behaviorally and pharmacological treatment. Uh, this can be difficult because pain can interfere with treatment of mental health disorders, but also mental health disorders can complicate the management of pain. So we, we detail uh, in important behavioral interventions and also specific medications that may have dual uh, mechanisms that can treat both chronic pain and mental health problems. Uh, these, um, these treatments are detailed in Figure 3 and Table 3. In addition to these three large areas, uh, we also provide information about uh, some other important mental health problems, including suicide, for example, uh, the effects of sexual violence on the development of pain, and also some of the unusual links between cigarette smoking chronic pain, and even opioid use. I hope that after reading this article, there'll be a, a better understanding and appreciation for the complexity of chronic pain and how prevalent mental health problems are in this particular uh, population. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.